on guys, welcome back to episode of Finishing a Flare. Today I've got another quick tip for you, and this one is for pretty much everybody. And it's the reason why you need to know this is because it's for anyone that has a bait caster in particular. I'll be honest, I don't know if this affects spinning reels, I just know it affects bait casters. And one of the most important things you need to do is take care of your bait casters. You guys invest a lot of money in these. Um, I do as well. Uh, they're not cheap for the most part. Some of them, you know, go upwards of $500. And it's important that you take care of them. And with it coming down to the off season, especially for me being in the Midwest, it's going to be snowing in about a week. What I do to make sure my reels stay in good condition when I store them is I back off the drag. And what this means is you take your reel and there's the star drag. So you can see right there, that's the star drag. There's, there's five points, and you can loosen or tighten it. That's called your drag. You can tighten it so the, the line doesn't come out. And what you want to do in the winter, or before you store it, or if you know you're not going to be using your reels for probably a month, I would say that's about the amount of time that I'd give it, um, back off the drag. Loosen it up all the way you can, and so there's no tension. And what this will do is it'll make your reels last longer, because what it does when you tighten that drag is it compresses all the components that really tighten down on that spool. And over time, when you if it stays compressed, eventually it's going to end up wearing out to the point where your drag is just not as strong as it used to be. Now, you're still going to have some drag power. It's not like it's just going to be free spooling all the time. You're not going to be able to reel on a crankbait because, honestly, I didn't know this tip until last year, and I spent the last three years with my drags all the way tightened up, and I didn't have an issue. I think this more applies to... Uh, reels that you want to keep for five, ten years, as well as what I've noticed the difference is, is I tested it over the last winter and I loosened half of mine and then didn't loosen the other half and I noticed that the drag was not as smooth. So when you pull the line from the reel, it's smooth. It's supposed to. It's supposed to come off really easy. It's not supposed to be jerky and and uh, because what will happen is if it's jerky and a fish runs your line will end up snapping or your rod will snap or your knot will snap. If it's smooth, then that's when you're you're going to stay hooked onto that fish. And that's why it's important to have a good drag system. And so for you guys that can't afford the three, four, five hundred dollar reels that have phenomenal drag systems, this is a cheaper way to make sure that your drag system stays like it is brand new out of the box. And um, so I know this is a quick tip video. I'm going to throw a fish catch at the end of this video because I feel bad you guys having to sit, watch and sit me talk in my room. Uh, so I'm going to throw in a fun fish catch at the end of this video just because it give you guys a little bit of entertainment. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know no one, I've never seen a video, I've never seen an article about this. I talked to one of the um, Bassmaster Open Pros at Bass Pro Shops last spring during the Spring Classic and he gave me this tip. And so I've been waiting until this time of year to give this to you guys. And it's any if you guys all have bait casters, trust me, it really does work. Just just spin it all the way back, loosen it all up, put it away for storage, and it'll make your reels last longer. If you like this short tips video, make sure to give it a like. Uh, comment below some more suggestions, some more tips videos you want me to go over, or bass fishing in general. I will assure you, more actual fishing videos are to come. It's a little harder living in the Midwest with it freezing over, but I'm making a trip to California pretty soon here, so you'll be seeing a lot of footage from that. But then again, um... That's it for today's episode, and thanks for watching. Oh my God. I got too much of him for him to hit again, too. Whew, deep breaths, we got. I knew I was going to get blown up there. It's just the perfect spot. Oh, he's there. He's still there. Come on. Come on. Get your... Oh, crap. No, no, no. This is big. This is giant. Yeah. No, this is bigger. This is big. Oh, no, 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 no. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh, they grab it. Oh, my God. There's a six. Dude, I was not about to let that go. I was freaking... Look at that.